from stream key. It should be back up, David. Can you check? Yeah, I'm refreshing now. Let's see where it is. Okay. Sheila's here. I see a Sheila. All right, we're back up. I'm sorry. It uh, That was a wild thing. We're going to gain this a little more. Here we go. <laughs> I feel terrible, man. All right, welcome back, everybody. We had to restart. The stream locked up on me. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what any of that is. So I think what I can do is go address it in the comments of the latest video. Oh, I left my snow shovel out there. So on the video that's showing me my telescope, it's the telescope, the moon, and then my snow shovel. Waving hello from New, New Hampshire. Nice. Here goes the, the Mars. Let me see, exposure. Up one. A little too much. Maybe the gain. All right. Here we go. So we have our full moon and Mars. Probably get it all in frame here, best we can. The dot is Mars. It's going behind the moon right now. Uh, I wonder if I saw any objects around it. No. I, I mean, I've seen things fly across the moon before. But nothing that looks like, like a crazy alien or something. My skies are not clear. Actually, tonight I am remote controlling a telescope rig in northern Kentucky with David here. He's a letting me control his his tracker mount because my I got clouded over my trackers out there tracking clouds right now <laughs> well I think it's tracking Pollux the star through clouds so it can't see anything but it's it's tracking so probably uh So I'm guessing this should record, I'm hoping. With your son to be two years old. You can see it from your house right now? Awesome. 
Iowa, South Carolina. Where's everybody else tuning in from? I'm Pennsylvania. David's Kentucky. Here comes the moon. It's like the slow, it's like kind of reminds me of Austin Powers. Basil! <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Man, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Watch the crew of the ISS go by the moon. Yeah. All right, guys, here we are. We're at the moments. Okay, so I think we should zoom in and check this out. I'm going to adjust gain. We are. There goes Mars going behind the moon, guys. And then we're going to go check out some objects in the night sky while Mars is chilling behind the moon. All right. How does that sound? Zoom in and find Armstrong's footprint. I think zoom in and I think I could get into like a handful of square mile pixels right now with this. This is a uh, set to to get the Mars and Moon. But look at this. Look at that view right there. What a view, right? What a view right there, man. Right next to it. about to poke behind that looks so cool hopefully people found their way back here Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Awesome view from our flat motionless plane. <laughs> Not great. All right. There goes Mars. It's about to touch. See you later, Mars. Whoa. It just swallowed it, David. It's just. Wait, what did I do? It just swallowed Mars. Mars was right there, then it just zoop. See on the other side, buddy, literally. It must have updated a little delay or something. Yeah. You got it. Oh, man. All right. Did you touch something? I, I'm not even logged into it right now. Oh. I'm just watching the, uh, the stream. All right. Okay, so we got a little bit of time before Mars comes out the other side. So what we can do here is uh,
All right, it's still showing Mars just below it. But I'm not seeing it. I think because of the the difference in brightness, I think that it may appear to have disappeared earlier for us. Yeah. All right, so we can go see. Some, let's do some astrophotography, David. Let's do it. While we're waiting for Mars behind the moon. Um, let's go check out Jupiter. So the blue box is going to be the telescope coming up to Jupiter. You see the blue box. There's the telescope moving over. Moving on over, lining up with Jupiter. Maybe we can do Pleiades, Pleiades too. Yep, that'll be up. And Orion, the Pac-Man Nebula is up there. Starting to see the moons. Jupiter. Cloud of there tonight. Hey, Cloud of Air, thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Thanks for being here with me, guys. Checking out Jupiter there. Um, let's try, let's try, because we haven't done this yet. Um, let's try what you were talking about. Would you say Pleiades or something? Or Pleiades? Or another place you thought yeah, might be let's cool? Go to, let's go to that one. Yeah, just uh, switch back over to, uh, switch over to the live mode instead of the video. I think I want to search for it. How do you spell Pleiades? E? I think, I think you just do M51. I think that's the most you number. Whirlpool. Oh, I was way off. <laughs> Which one's Pleiades, guys? said I sometimes take astro photos I didn't say that was particularly smart I know I spelled that wrong there we go here we go it's right next to Jupiter um, it went the other way your telescope went the other way David I am, I'm not seeing your screen in Discord, so I'm not sure what's going on real time. Well, I was on Jupiter, and uh, Pleiades just to the right of Jupiter, and I say go to M45. I yeah. wonder if they're near Meridian. If, and if uh, the telescope went in the opposite direction. <laughs> it might be Meridian. So that's when the telescope's it, yeah. like pretty much straight up and down. So the whole thing has to flip itself around. There it is. There, it's coming back now. It came from the other side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just like I quit. I quit. 
Okay, so let's start stacking images of Pleiades. All right, so David, if uh, you want to help me get started with that. Yeah, um, can you share your screen with me again on Discord so I can yep. not, be, not be lagging? I think it's this one. There you go. All right. So, so we're on Pleiades. We're, we're good. Uh, we want to switch out of video mode. Um, switch, uh, switch over to live. All right. And then before we start imaging, click the, uh, the little hamburger menu under there, under live. And then, okay, click on flat, where it says flat's got the green checkbox. We need to change the uh, the frames. Um, oh wait, cancel. 